Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So thank you so much for being here. Today we're gonna to be doing another pick a card all about behind the scenes and messages from your guides and things like that. So what's going on behind the scenes in your life? And let's have a look. So please choose your group. You have number one with the amethyst, group two with the pistachio calcite or Caribbean calcite. Group number three with the mangano calcite and group number four with the pink opal. So all these crystals are available on my website. Please choose your group now. If you want more time, please pause the video. All the information is down below for the timestamps and let's get started. So starting off with group number one with the amethyst. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. So we have the beautiful little amethyst here. Okay, so let's see. So we're gonna have a look at the animal cards in just a moment. So we're gonna have a look at those in just a second. So. Let's have a look and see what cards you have. So we actually have the amethyst crystal as well. So I do feel like amethyst is a very big syn synchronicity for you guys. I'm gonna move this little crystal over here. This is not in the way. Um, I do feel like amethyst is a really good crystal for you guys. I say, I'm sorry if you can hear noise outside. I'm sorry, there's a lot of construction going on opposite my house. So there's definitely energy of things changing for you. I do feel like your intuition's really being connected to your energy. I feel like you're really connecting to your intuition. And your guides, I feel like, are really giving you a lot of signs in terms of messages and symbols and things like that. So really tuning into those. So let's see what's going on behind the scenes for you guys. We have courage. We have the third chakra, the solar plexus. We then have the shapeshifter in the reverse. We have the unicorn and the tiger. So I do feel like for you guys, it's really, really important for you to work on your intuition. Your intuition wants to help you and it's there so you can get guidance and move through this life more easier. And trusting your intuition can be difficult, especially if we have trouble trusting ourselves. So I do feel like it's having the courage to really work through this. And especially where we have the third chakra of self-discipline, it says my self-discipline and willpower will significantly help me in my efforts to move forward and grow. I am free of the need for the approval of others. I face each challenge with determination and courage and I'm determined to live my life to its full potential. I am strong and capable. My actions speak louder than my words. So I do feel like there's a really intense connection coming towards you. And I feel like this connection coming towards you is gonna help you to embrace this new side of you. The person that's coming towards you, I'm actually feeling they're going to be somebody who really supports you and supports the part of you that possibly hasn't had that support when you were possibly younger, or maybe it's gonna be some sort of friend that hasn't, that's gonna support you that possibly people, where people haven't supported you in the past. And we then have the ruby and this black crystal. So I feel like you're embracing your really passionate side, but you are definitely struggling to find your feet right now. I feel like grounding yourself is really important. And also taking regular breaks. I actually feel like taking regular breaks is really important rather than just a break. I feel like taking a regular break or a long break will really help you to come into this energy. Obviously, if you can't do that, just taking like an hour to yourself or 20 minutes or five minutes to yourself a day just to meditate or to watch some TV and just kind of zone out. Because I feel like when we use our when we use our capacity and sometimes we don't have that capacity anymore, sometimes we really just need to break free from that and just take our time and really work on ourselves. And I think what's really important is to really trust your intuition and know that you are going in the right direction. And I feel like what's happening behind the scenes is that you're, you're bringing in a lot of courage and it's causing a lot of different breakthroughs in your life. So I feel like because the courage is coming in, it's almost like you are needing to come up to the plate almost with this energy. And the universe is like, let's see what they can do in this, in this energy. Let's see how they're gonna work it, you know. I'm hearing that song, is it worth it? Let me work it. <laughs> so I do feel like for you, it's really working on your all sides of you, working on your intuition, working on the different parts of you. And I feel like there's parts of you that you're really not happy with at the moment, or there's a part of you that you're really working on to become much more excited about. So I do feel like your energy is really drawn to the esoteric and kind of higher vibrational things. So I do feel like it's really important to work with those things, but also to have a break once in a while and ground yourself, really become grounded, really become kind of in your energy and becoming very strong within yourself. I do feel like we have the, my, by shining brave and true and bright, my courage now returns this night. So I do feel like you possibly have lost courage over some sort of situation that has really kind of 
made you feel down or made you feel uncomfortable but you are growing you are becoming this gorgeous confident person and I feel like it just takes a little bit of kind of shape shifting and twisting and kind of adjusting to kind of get to where you want to be because some of you guys might have fire in your in your chart as well but it's also learning to not repress your anger but not to assert it towards people who have the want the best intentions for you but obviously if you are in an argument if you if you need to kind of get it out and tell the person how you feel just kind of talk to them afterwards and see if you can resolve the situation because you don't want things kind of i'm hearing leave no stone unturned so essentially it's it's always resolving things after they've kind of been unraveled because the end of the day when things have been unraveled you want to make sure that you can put them back together again and things will be sorted so let's have a look at your tarot and we're going to have a look at the astrology as well so we're going to see what's happening behind the scenes for you guys okay so we have first house pisces and we also have saturn so the first house in pisces is oh sorry not pisces aquarius okay you could be a pisces as well if i said pisces it comes out my mouth <laughs> just go with it so the aquarius energy is all about independence and it's becoming more kind of guided by your intuition and letting your intuition like kind of put you on the right path so the first house in Aquarius I mean the first house is all about the self it's your approach to life and the negative side of Aquarius is, can be quite controlling can be very dismissive so I feel like you may be working on those sort of energies right now and the anger and things like that and really kind of bringing in your most authentic self and a lot of the times is we can actually get angry when we start to become our most authentic self so if you feel like you're starting to get angry at people and it's kind of like unsolicited kind of thing like it's kind of like well I'm not normally angry at those sort of people kind of pull back and really work on yourself before you approach that said person or situation because you want to make sure that when you're going through a transition it can be really uncomfortable because it's not black or white you know it's just in the middle so when we go through a transition phase it's really important for us to focus on ourselves and go go inwards definitely go inwards and really be by yourself and if you need to take a break just tell if you've got like a friend or a partner or a family member you just want to say can I just have like five minutes to myself to meditate or I just need to like pull back from the situation like allow yourself to think about things before they kind of come up because you don't want extra conflict you know at the end of the day you don't want extra stress so also the Aquarius is all about kind of the intuitive energy it's all about being your independent self so I do feel like it's about balance as well temperance with the temperance card and the Aquarius energy it's all about balance so if you can balance out the way you're approaching things and kind of being more settled because a lot of us are being triggered right now so it's really important to come back to what you authentically love and also maybe watch something that you love that makes you feel really calm and kind of brings you back to like a childlike energy because sometimes it can be just our inner child is just a little bit scared or we're just feeling a little bit confused so Saturn is all about massive amounts of change so you have definitely meant to come into this energy it's kind of like you're ready to you're ready for the change essentially so if you are feeling a bit confused just know that this change is happening for a reason and it's meant to happen okay just drop one of my cards on the flow okay so we have the two of cups which is a really gorgeous energy we have the seven of pentacles Let's see what else we have we have the five of cups we have the temperance card yeah i knew the temperance card would come out that's why i said it i hope you guys really can't hear the noise out, out the front of my house because it's so loud right now so hopefully you can't but if not I do apologize so we also have the wheel of fortune so as i say definitely starting a brand new cycle where you can become your most authentic self and when you say what most authentic self i mean in the most genuine way when we are authentic to ourselves like completely authentic there is no one that can kind of dismay us or tell us what we're not good enough or anything like that and at the end of the day if someone's authenticity is kind of anger and stress and things like that just know that that's not authentic our authentic self obviously anger is authentic too but when we come into our most authentic self we can look back and see how we're acting and things like that and really be aware of how we're doing because when we're authentic it's not ever to impact anyone else it's only for ourselves you know so if our, if your authenticity is kind of coming out and it's kind of affecting other people just be aware that this is kind of your ego kind of bringing up a lot of your anger so 
be very aware that this is something that you kind of need to step back and work on. And also, if you're feeling like abandoned or scared, just know that you are getting balanced. You know, work on things that you really enjoy. That's going to help you kind of come into this energy. And I do feel like the temperance and the four of pentacles is all about you really working on yourself and slowing down. I feel like it's all about working on yourself, on your inward energy and slowing down. That's like the main messages I'm getting from this group. I know it's kind of simple, but it's very true. You know, something is really, really changing for you guys. And I feel like it's really up to you how you handle it because at the end of the day if you if you start to kind of get overwhelmed it's really important to just pull back and kind of come back into your energy okay and really kind of be aware of how you're acting and what you're doing and if you feel overworked kind of come back to yourself and meditate or kind of watch something that's really fun or just just do something that maybe is out of your routine sometimes we need to have a little bit of a change up okay I also feel like you guys might be holding things to your chest so if you need to talk about something definitely do that or I do feel like you may also be saving money as well for a certain trip or um, something you want to pay for so let's get you one more card we're going to get you an astrology card we're going to see what does group number one need to know about what's been going on behind the scenes okay let's go for this one okay Chiron healing of course we have this one so that's really interesting and we also have the 12th house of escape exactly so you guys really want to escape your energy right now you really want to escape away from this situation and that's okay that's normal and if you feel this just know that this is Chiron kind of coming in to help heal whatever needs to be going on and also the wounded healer so the wounded healer is all about that almost narcissistic energy kind of pointing fingers and saying like oh I don't feel good because you made me feel good you made me feel bad you know that sort of thing this is all about you kind of coming into your energy and realizing that if you don't feel good it's up to you how you handle it it's all about your energy and that is the transformation that is you becoming aware of the emotions that you are dealing with and if you do feel like you were angry at somebody and things like that you can resolve these things you know you can go back and apologize or anything like that I do just feel like there's a lot of anger coming up and I feel like it's really important for you to just really work on that by yourself but the Chiron healing is all about just healing that part of you and if you know where Chiron is in your chart that's going to give you a little bit of extra info of where you are healing right now and when you do heal that's when you're going to come into this gorgeous energy so let's see where you're going to be after you have healed this part of you or have gone on this journey let's have a look and see okay we have two more cards we have the 11th house of friends and you'd yo, yod i don't know how to <laughs> pronounce that uh, destiny so essentially you're going to manifest lots of friends you're going to manifest more of a community because you've worked on yourself and because when you do that you are able to be um, observing of your emotions and really work on them as well and when we work on our emotions we become a much more healthier version of ourselves and therefore we're able to be in relationships and be in connections where we can be our most healthy self and friendships doesn't have to be like just friends it can be relationships in terms of like romantic relationships and everything is a relationship even when you're not with somebody anymore it's still a type of relationship it's kind of like an ended relationship or it's like a you know a relationship with someone who possibly was toxic or narcissistic or something like that so I do feel like it's really important for you to acknowledge that you're going to have lots of different relationships in your life and it may all start with your friendships and then kind of go off from there and you may have like something in terms of destiny to do your friendships so it could be like you work with your friends or you could kind of meet a friend and then it kind of ripples from there of all the other people you're going to meet so that's your reading guys I really hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below along with my crystal shop thank you so much for being here hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you very soon Bye. hello group number two thank you so much for being here let's get started with your reading so you guys chose the gorgeous pistachio or caribbean calcite whatever you want to call it i do feel like this is more pistachio calcite i think i've called it caribbean calcite in the past but it's up to interpretation you know <laughs> anything in spirituality is up to interpretation so gorgeous crystal i really really love this one so i sell these on my shop if any of you guys are interested so we have the oracle cards here so we're gonna have a look at these we're gonna have a look at the crystal card i chose for you guys first so this is Rhodonite. This is all about your love life and love energy coming towards you. So kind of working on your heart chakra. So we have when that cu cubicle life has got you down, when it's time to drop the people pleasing facade and start doing something that really lights you up. When you're ready to use your real unique powers to actually make this rapidly spinning planet a more beautiful place. Go with your heart. And then we also have who needs it? Potential wasters, those deeply sighing, I hate my job types, Sagittarians. It also says here, what is it? With a palette of deep pink and black, Rhodonite gets its name from the Greek word for rosy. Oh, I love that. That's beautiful. So we're going to put her 
back here. So let's get started with your reading, guys. Let's see what else we have. So let's start off with this card first. Ooh, harvest. I like, I like. As the waves of the ocean are infinite, as the trees in the forest grow tall, let my work now bring me to harvest. I'm ready to receive my all. Ooh, ooh, I'm excited. Ooh, I love that. That's so cute. Okay, so we have the first chakra, the base, courage and faith. We have the heart chakra as well. So this is very interesting. Oh, I like this. Okay, we also have the comic and we have the golden egg and the dragonfly. Okay, so very, very interesting energy. So first of all, what I'm hearing is the massive amount of courage that you guys are going through. You guys are really learning to have faith in the universe. There could be something that's drastically changed in your life and you're now harvesting what you put out there. And I do apologize for any noise outside. It is quite loud. Outside my house right now is a lot of construction going on. So hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. So with the energy here that's kind of going on, I do feel like you are, as I said, you're embracing courage and faith and adaptability. You're learning to have um, st stability within your life. The, the base chakra is all about stability and it's about kind of your safety. So the fact that we have the heart chakra is very much to do with like, I'm feeling nervous, I'm feeling anxious right now. So if you guys are feeling like that, just know that behind the scenes, you're really working on your base and your heart chakra. You're working on your stability and opening your heart chakra for more fulfilled long-term love and I feel like for you guys you're really learning to enjoy life and have more fun with life and have more fun with kind of doing things that you really really enjoy sorry I keep hearing really weird noises that's so random okay so I do feel like you're really working on your humor you're really working on um in terms of just taking things lightly and basically the universe is saying just take this lightly it's okay you know it's not to take things too seriously and the golden egg and the dragonfly is all about you coming into your most authentic self. The golden egg is kind of like I'm not really brewed yet. So we're nearly there. But we're not brewed yet. So the dragonfly is all about coming out of the nest and being your most authentic self, especially with the throat chakra. This is all about your throat chakra energy, kind of speaking your truth. So I do feel like you're becoming most or the most authentic person you can be. And I feel like with the harvest energy, you're actually manifesting what you have been putting out for the last couple of years. I'm feeling I'm here in two to three years. I'm also seeing a clown, which is quite funny that we've got the comic here and I'm seeing a clown. So can you show me why we've got a clown? Yeah, it's kind of like taking, don't take things too seriously. And the things you're scared of aren't as big as what you think they are. Okay, that's a really big message for you guys. So with these uh, chakra cards, it says, I regularly remind myself to be positive and open to possibilities, knowing that I'm the creator of my own universe. I feel the fear and I do it anyway. I'm ready and eager to move forward. I embrace the warrior within me. I remind myself to be a warrior, not a warrior. I am not a victim. I will meditate and be peaceful and calm in my interactions with others in the world. And then it also says, feeling good about myself will help bring peace into my life. So I do feel like you're really working on the self. You're working on a part of you that possibly feels a little bit insecure or unsure. And I do feel like the golden egg is all about you harvesting what you've been putting out. So I feel like it's really important for you to be in your own nest right now and just be by yourself and really just work on what feels authentic to you and what feels right for you. And the dragonfly is all about, you know, kind of coming into that part of you that wants to be free. It wants to be spiritual and light. Dragonflies are very light energy. They're very Piscean. So I do feel like you could be a Pisces as well or meeting a Pisces very soon when you kind of come out of this golden egg energy. But the golden egg signifies the heart chakra and we do have that here in the chakra card. So I really, really like this energy. It feels very, very beautiful. I feel like this is all about you kind of just embracing all sides of you and know that it's okay to be in this transition phase right now. And I feel like what you are manifesting behind the scenes is a massive harvest of everything you've wanted. It's just, you've got to be ready for it. The universe is saying you've got to be ready for it. So they're preparing you for that part of you that's going to, you know, embrace this new start, embrace this new harvest energy, which is really beautiful. Okay. So let's have a look at your astrology guys and let's see what wants to come through for group number two. Okay, so we have number two, which is funny because you are group number two, so I love that. We then have the self, no, self note. I just have to think about that for a minute. The self note, and then we have the sad. Oh, I love that. So this is really interesting. I feel like this is all about you embracing your duality. So this is the masculine and the feminine side. And I do feel like the second house is all about money. So I do feel like you're becoming much more authentic to who you are. And I feel like it's interesting how we have the second house of money because in that crystal card it said about your job so i do feel like you're thinking about that you want a different job you're wanting a different path for yourself so you are actually manifesting a new path and you're coming away from your 
Sagittarian energy. So essentially, you are embracing this new side of you. And also with this Sagittarian energy and the fact that you're letting go of it, it's kind of like if your, your south node is in Sagittarius, most likely your north node should be, is it Cancer? It's not Cancer, it's Gemini? Or is it, I actually don't know which, I can't remember which is the opposite to Sag, but whatever your north node is in, that's kind of what you're going towards, I feel. But the releasing of Sagittarian energy is a releasing of using humour to kind of pull back on things that, you know, you, you, you care about, you know, you kind of use humour as a coping mechanism. So I do feel like it's really important for you to work on this part of you that wants to just be accepted and accept yourself and let yourself be seen, let yourself be vulnerable. And the self node is all about you kind of releasing this need to escape things and really going into it. So if you guys are really feel like you're changing up your money, I feel like you could be looking for jobs, you could be looking for a new path. And I do feel like the fact that we have this in the second house is all about your daily routines and things like that. So you're possibly changing up your daily routines and that's going to in turn then change a big part of you in your life. OK, so let's get you some tarot and we're going to see what wants to come out for you guys. OK, let's see what wants to come out. So we have the five of pentacles. We then have the well. We have the two of wands. There's so much noise going on outside. The universe is like, girl, <laughs> girl, what are you doing, girl? Filming a pick a card when there's lots of noise outside. <laughs> okay, so we have the ten of cups, we have the seven of pentacles, two of wands, the well, and the five of pentacles. So this is all about you using the part of you that you feel insecure about for the best side of you. So there could be an insecurity about you possibly not being able to find work or not be able to embrace your artistic abilities. I do feel like you're learning to really embrace those and I do feel like you're gonna find a new job very, very soon. So for those of you who want to find a new job, I feel like you're definitely gonna find one because we have this embracing of your authenticity in terms of your, like, what you love, the things that you're really interested in. <clears throat> I do feel like you're reaching out. I feel like you need to reach out more. I feel like even speaking to your partner or, you know, a friend or just to yourself, like really speaking and let things come out. Because even talking to yourself can be very therapeutic. Because I feel like you guys are really going into this new zone of the Wheel of Fortune, this new energy. So it could be quite overwhelming for you. So just be aware that things will change for you. And you are getting to this really gorgeous place of happiness. It just may take a little bit of time and introspection. And if you aren't looking for a new job, I feel like it's definitely about choosing what feels right for you and authentically just being on that path. And with the Seven of Pentacles, you're working towards that. And the universe can see that. So this is kind of what you're manifesting behind the scenes. I do feel like when you find your path, or you kind of work through the emotions you're working through right now and use your creativity to work through it, I do feel like you're going to manifest a really gorgeous family life as well. So for those of you who want a family, this is going to be, this is actually part of your journey towards your family life. So if you're wanting a, like a more close knit family or you want to find a community, I do feel like you're going to manifest that. Okay. So let's have a look and see what else is coming towards you behind the scenes. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, it's so going to pick a astro card and we're going to see what do you guys need to know and what you manifest in behind the scenes. Okay, so we have Uranus Genius. Oh, I love, I love. Okay, so that's really big energy. You guys are going for a gigantic shift. So I feel like it's really, oh wow, we have Pisces. Oh my God, definitely the throat chakra. I'm feeling Pisces from this group. So it's really believing in your potential, really believing in your destiny and that you can actually get that. And we have the fire energy. So being passionate about what you love doing and really going towards that. And the fire energy is all about that masculine. And then we also have the first house of the body. So I feel like looking after yourself is really, really important. So definitely keep working on that. And I feel like with the Uranus genius, we have number nine and number 24. So you're nearly there. You're nearly to the um, harvesting stage. I just feel like you need to um, believe more into the universe and know that it's okay. You know, if you don't have belief right now, that's okay. You will get there. You will get there. And I feel like what you're manifesting is more trust in the universe, more able to let go. And also you're able to really look at yourself and think, what is that I need to improve on to manifest what I need to get and I do feel like there's something you're very passionate about and I feel like you're going towards it I feel like you're really stepping into your power 
and you're actually asking the universe like can I like can you help me manifest this and actually allowing yourself to receive I feel like a lot of you guys have trouble receiving things so I feel like you're really going to receive what you what you really really need and what you desire it just feels really really beautiful and the Pisces energy is all about that kind of swimming along nicely and kind of going with the flow and not escaping things not going into that escapism I feel I feel like you're really kind of getting grand in the moment so thank you so much for watching guys if you'd like a private reading or you want to look at my crystal shot all the information is down below thank you so much for being here i hope you have a lovely day and i'll speak to you soon bye hello group number three thank you so much for being here let's get started with your reading so you guys chose the gorgeous mangano calcite i'm obsessed with this crystal it's so light and beautiful it's just so delicate and really good for your heart chakra really good for those of you who do channeling as well because i sometimes hold this one i'm doing my readings and it's really good for just kind of working that heart chakra and getting you in a really beautiful zone. Let's see what cards we have out today and let's see what's going on behind the scenes. So I did choose a crystal card for you guys as well. We have the quartz card, which is beautiful. So seeing things more clearly, you're just becoming much more enlightened. I think your intuition's really rising. Um, it says, when you find yourself believing the limitations your mind puts in front of you, call on quartz to help see through illusions, clear the mind of self-doubt, surrender to the will of the universe and start manifesting the impossible. This also says a really good crystal for Geminis and this is also good for really enhancing your vision. So I do feel like your third eye is really being initiated right now. It's kind of like what feels really right to you and what feels really authentic to you. And I feel like that's what you're really working on right now. Okay, so let's see what cards we have. Success. Oh, I love this. This is what you're manifesting behind the scenes. Success that's true belongs to me. Success with honour, integrity. Okay, lovely. So let's have a look at the other cards. We have the seventh chakra, the crown chakra. We have the second, the sacral. So we have grace and we have sexuality. We have the mother and we have the siren. Oh, beautiful. You've got two cards. I'm going to see if I can fit these in the frame. I think we'll have a look at the uh, animal cards in just a second. I can't fit those in the frame. So, okay. So this is really beautiful. So I love, absolutely love this pink. It's absolutely gorgeous it's really drawing me in so I do feel like you're coming into a place where you're really manifesting your own feminine energy you're really allow allowing yourself to let people see you as you are and letting people see this gorgeous feminine energy that you are and obviously if you don't um, kind of see yourself as a feminine it's basically just your authentic self so whether you see yourself as a fem feminine or a masculine whatever however you see yourself you are embracing that main part of you that main part of you that really wants to come out and basically just being yourself and I feel like it's really important to mother yourself right now really go into that kind of cocoon that womb energy because you're going to manifest a really lot of success and success can mean anything to you it can mean love it can mean a relationship it can mean authentic relationships like love and friendship and things like that but it can also mean wealth it can mean a new house things like that but you are working on your crown chakra so you can really discern what's in front of you and what feels right for you and our crown chakra really come becomes more open when we become authentic to ourselves and we know who we are more and it's also being that kind of graceful energy kind of really leading with grace and not judging things as they come just letting them be and really accepting things as they are if somebody has a different opinion just really accepting that, that person has a different opinion and that's okay so we also also have I honor and respect my sexuality and allow the natural flow of my feelings I'm open to the positive sensual feelings coming to me from others at the same time I keep my sexual activities well directed and in balance so essentially you guys are really working on your sacral chakra you're working on the part of you that really wants to embrace this gorgeous sexual sexual part of you we all have a sexual part of us you know so I do feel like it's a part of you that really wants to come out and not being afraid of it because that is our power our inner power is our sexuality and it's not even to do with intimacy it's actually to do with how we I mean obviously it is but in this in this in this section in this reading it re resonates more towards how you want to be approached and how you have boundaries and really doing things that feel good for you and really acknowledging what clicks with you and what feels right for you and all those lovely things so it also says I surrender all my fears and burdens to a higher power I feel like you guys are really going through some intense energy right now and it's really important to just dive deep into it and I know how scary that can be but actually that's the best thing you can do okay I just had a really bad pain in my heart that was really really uncomfortable so you're really working on your heart chakra too <laughs> oh my god okay you're really working on your heart chakra 
So that was fun. <laughs> that pain was fun. But yeah, things are really drastically changing for you guys. So just be aware that things like that can come up. Like just obviously not that exact pain, but a lot of random stuff can come up for you. So just be aware that things are changing at a rapid level. So just kind of go with the flow as much as possible because things are changing really, really drastically. Okay, so going through a major transformation, you guys are really coming into your own kind of intensity and intensity shouldn't be something to be feared it's something that's actually really amazing and beautiful and the zebra is all about your intuition and the cobra is all about kind of unraveling things and seeing the deeper side of things and also just really kind of embracing all sides of you whether that be the angry side the sad side the happy side the excited side you know all those things and you're releasing any old doubt or guilt you have around that and you're now embracing that kind of energy and I love the kind of like lines we have these lines going like that like a chevron line and then we've got these lines going this way so it may be like you're pulled in like two like different directions but you are going to manifest this gorgeous energy and I feel like the zebra is all about you just being authentic to who you are and leading by example you know being that example to help people lead to their most authentic self and accepting other people for who they are because not everyone's on our level or on a level that we have and that's okay and just accepting that and you know that's okay so that's really beautiful I love that just finding your path I'm hearing finding your path okay so let's see what else is happening behind the scenes for group number three beautiful oh I love this yay I love this relationships relationships okay so Wow, I'm excited. Okay, I'm excited to see what your tarot says as well. So we have the Cancer, we have Seventh House, and we have Venus. So all about love, literally all about love, family and nurturing. So I do feel like what's happening behind the scenes is a gorgeous relationship for you. If you're already partnered, obviously this is going to help you in your love life. This is going to help you to guide the relationship to a more authentic place and help you both to embrace each other more deeply. For those of you who are single or who are wanting more authentic relationships, this doesn't actually have to mean romantic. This can be friendships, authentic family members. This can be um, just people who are really on your wavelength. This can be even co-workers that you really resonate with and love. And I feel like you're really coming into a space where you're very grounded and the Cancer energy is very soft, it's very warm, it's very homely and safe. Cancer is all about safety and the seventh house is all about relationships, it's all about connections and it's all about things like marriage and contracts and business partners and interpersonal style and, and sharing. So I do feel like the fact that we have that with the Cancer energy is absolutely gorgeous. Like that's probably one of the best best signs we can have in the Venus energy because it's very authentic, it's very loving, very caring and I do feel like with this Venus energy you guys are working on your feminine side. So if you guys obviously like see yourself as a masculine or you know that thing, we all have feminine energy so I feel like you're working on that side of you that really wants to come out and actually letting people see you for who you are and if people don't acknowledge you for who you are you're just letting it go because at the end of the day that's all you can do because if people don't love you for who you are then what's the point in being around people like that so we have justice which is venus is which is about libra it's all about the balance wow queen of cups you guys are really coming into a beautiful place you guys really don't know what's going to hit you in the next few months i feel it's going to be beautiful look at that let's see what's after the tower oops oh wow see that's really interesting so i feel like you're really working on balancing in your relationships so i feel like you could be letting go of people who no longer serve you or people who just aren't on your wavelength anymore and you're not accepting any kind of behavior that's really kind of out of the out of like random and just awful and nasty i feel like you're just kind of being like oh do you know what you don't accept me for who i am that's okay i'm gonna let you go you know and also accepting people for who they are if they can't if see you for who you are that's okay it's not to be nasty to them it's actually just be like no i know i know where you are and that's okay it's okay that you're like that wow i love this so much we have the knight of cups the knight the king of wands and the page of cups i love this i freaking love this so this is really really beautiful so this is all about you embracing your femininity and then when you embrace who you are and you love who you are you're going to manifest the most beautiful relationships in your life they could be a pisces they could be a water sign cancer pisces or scorpio we also have a bit of fire here so it could be an aries leo or sag as well or manifesting an aries leo or sag and we have we literally have the two of cups underneath the deck i'm going to show you guys once i straighten these cards out isn't that so beautiful i love that two of cups i love that that is so good that's amazing that's absolutely gorgeous so i feel like you're really allowing yourself to 
have this relationship come in as well and as I say <clears throat> it doesn't have to be um, romantic love but for a lot of you it definitely is a relationship that's what I'm feeling like really really strongly wow that's that is so beautiful I'm sorry for the lighting guys it keeps going kind of up and down but I feel like it's really about you just seeing yourself for who you are and somebody's going to come in because you've now recognised that you're giving to yourself and you're now allowing more authentic connections to come in that really suit you and are on your wavelength. I love this. This is absolutely beautiful. So I'm so excited for you guys. This is so lovely. I love anything to do with relationship. I am obsessed and I love it. So that is great. So let's see what else you're manifesting behind the scenes. What's the main energy? Oops. Oh, I love this. Love, love, love this. Okay, beautiful. Moon soul. Let's get you one more. So this is all about your emotions. And we did have cancer, which rules the moon. So that's really, really interesting. It's all about you and your authenticity and really speaking your mind, speaking your truth and uh, allowing people to come in who are on the same wavelength as you and have the, almost a very similar mind to you who see things from a very high perspective you know and you want to be around people who are on your wavelength so you can you can really blossom because if you're with people who aren't on your wavelength or who really bring you down obviously when people aren't on your wavelength that's totally okay but if someone's not if someone's treating you really badly they're going to stop you from being tuned into your intuition and tuned into who you are because you're going to be swayed away from them so what's really important is to work on your desires and what feels right for your soul and then we also have mercury here so really speaking your truth and talking about things that you really love to people and really being able to do that and then we have second house of owning so you guys could really get some good stuff coming in your money as well so you guys have got it all you got the relationship coming in you got an authentic relationships and you've also got money of the second house which is all to do with your income your work routine and things like that and your daily routine so I do feel like you're allowing yourself to find a, a career that really suits your energy and suits your vibration. And Mercury with the mind is all about you possibly doing something with your mind in terms of your speech. So Mercury is also about the third house, which is about communication. It's about um, early education and mind and thinking. So it's all about how you are approaching the situation. And the third, and the, I'm hearing the third, oh, the third house, yeah. The third house is all about you kind of bringing that in. And we do have the number two and the number three, so they could be very significant numbers for you as well. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you'd like a private reading, you want to check out my crystal shop, all the information is down below. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So we have this gorgeous pink opal tower. I love these. These are so beautiful. They are available on my shop if you guys are interested. So let's have a look at your card. So we did actually pull a crystal card for you as well. So let's have a look and see what that is. This is Larimar. I actually have a little Larimar guy here, which is my little, my little friend. I love Larimar. It's so gorgeous. It's really good for helping you be just kind of in the moment and being at peace. So it says, when you feel like all the world's problems are suddenly just your problem, when anger stands between you and the, and the formation of articulate sentences, remember chill is a choice, ride the call, breeze with Larimar, slow your roll. This is for any hot tempered Aries, which is beautiful. So if you're an Aries, that'll be good for you as well. Uh, I do feel like there's a lot of anger kind of coming up. So you're really dealing with that right now. And I feel like that's actually bringing you towards your more, more authentic self. So let's have a look and see what we have. Ooh, we have inspiration. Isis, goddess of magic, I ask thee to bring your inspiration to me. Okay, so that is really beautiful. Let's have a look at the rest of the cards to see what chakra. Ooh, a lot of green going on. And, and obviously this is pink, so this is all to do with the heart chakra as well. So really working on being open. Okay, so we have Thanatos, interesting. The bee and the fish. Okay, so you could be somebody who is working alongside somebody who's a water sign. You could be a Virgo working with a water sign or something like that. That's a very specific message, but that's what I'm feeling. There's definitely a lot of heart chakra energy and not needing to kind of retreat away from what feels good for you. So I feel like a lot of you guys are getting distracted and not working on your emotions that are coming up. So I feel like it's really important to do that because you may kind of weave into a web and kind of get stuck. So what's really important is to look at your inspiration and kind of be inspired by people and things and get creative and get really in your own energy what feels good for you also with the b i do feel like work can be quite distracting so if you need to take time away and you're feeling overworked definitely do that and that can be like five minutes you know it doesn't have to be something long but if it is like a week off and you're able to do that then definitely do that because i feel like you're overworking yourself and your mind is extremely busy you're somebody who can really focus on 
um, something like if you if you're a fixed sign especially or you've got a fixed sign quite strongly in your chart whether it's your like your sun moon or your rising you're somebody who when you focus on something you really really focus on it so what's really important is to work on this unconditional love for yourself and for others and it could also be that you're feeling very upset right now or sad or confused and you may be feeling the need to distract yourself and that's the one thing that you don't want to do obviously distracting is in like letting your mind rest so meditate or watching something silly or fun but don't push yourself to the end of the world, you know, because you, you will burn yourself out. And don't, I'm saying, I'm hearing don't burn the candle at both ends. The fish here is all about working with your intuition and allowing things to just be as they are. Just keep swimming. That's what I'm hearing. Just keep swimming. And with this, with this Thanatos energy, it's all about you kind of getting overwhelmed by your dark energy. And we all have shadow energy. We all have shadows. And it's just how we work with them that's the most important thing. So are you working with your shadows? Are you looking at them and saying, look, it's okay. I know you're scared. I'm here for you. You know, I'm here for you. I'm here for this energy. And I know you want to distract yourself. But we're not going to do that. We're going to work at them. We're going to go into these energies and these emotions. And if it's too much for you, then take a break, you know, or maybe have a look at therapy in some way. It doesn't have to be like a long-term therapy. It can be like a little Reiki session or a little healing session or something like that. Finding somebody who does energy healing or something like that. So we have the fourth chakra of unconditional love and it says, I allow myself to be open to giving and receiving love without fear of rejection. I give without expect expecting recognition or acknowledgement in return. So I feel like you're really working on your heart chakra. You're working on um, the energy of rejection and kind of making sure that it's okay. If you get rejected by something, that's just the universe saying, nope, something else, something else is coming in. So you are definitely working on something where you are weaving a web, you know, you're kind of creating your own energy. Can you see how we have like the black and white and the black and white, but there's like a tiny little bit of red. So trusting your intuition with the moon, it's all about your intuition and really working on things that just suit you and make you feel good. And this Thanatos energy is all about recognizing when you're kind of getting too overwhelmed and stepping back from it as much as possible. The B is also showing me that if you work on a project, you'll definitely finish it, I feel. So if you kind of work on something now, that's going to really acknowledge you to kind of get, you're going to get somewhere very strongly. I feel like you're going to kind of meet the end goal when you do that. And the B is all about that Virgo energy. We had like a Virgo and a Pisces energy coming along here. So this is all about you kind of making sure you're not overworking yourself and don't be hard on yourself. You know, you're doing the best that you can and that's okay. And if you feel that you've made any kind of mistakes or anything, or you need to kind of resolve something from the past or kind of like apologize for something, then definitely do that. You know, if you're feeling drawn to something, then definitely go towards that and do that. And I really like this, this heart chakra. You're probably going to be inspired by something that's going to really light up your heart chakra and allow you to just feel this energy. I feel this is really, really beautiful, especially the fact that we have the heart chakra right next to it. It's like you're being very authentically inspired by something. Okay, so let's have a look at your astrology dice and the tarot. So let's see. Ooh, okay. So we have the eighth house and Scorpio. Wow, you guys are going through some really deep stuff. Okay, which is beautiful. It's all, it's all, it's all good stuff. It's all good stuff. So this is really, really good. So we also have Saturn, which is a really big planet of change, and I'm hearing distribution. So I feel like if it's not something changing in your love life, it will be in your career, or if it's not your career, it will be your house. You know, something is definitely shifting within you. And the eighth house is all about intimacy. It is Scorpio, so it's all about your it's all about intimacy and other people's money and your partner's resources and things like that so with, with the fact we have this to do with other people's money it could be that you're finding your own independence with money it could also mean that you guys are really working on your deep shadow elements i mean scorpio <clears throat> is all about the sh deep shadow elements and the deep parts of you that possibly don't want to look into because scorpios are very deep hi i'm scorpio nice to meet you um, <laughs> but it's like that energy of like that depth that kind of energy of like looking into something and not being scared of it because depth isn't scary it's just how we feel about it it's just the unknown that we find scary it's not the actual depth it's the unknown so the saturn energy is all about looking at this from a broader perspective and saturn is saturn is the guy that is has all the rules he's the one who's like nope you need to go through this because it's good for your good for your soul but the, the human part of us is like, no, I don't want to go through this. No, 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 I'm good. No, no, no. I push, push it down, push it down. And it's like all of that. Saturn is saying, look, you need to look at what is going on and really work with it. And that's okay. And if you can't do that right now, that's okay. There's no pressure. You just kind of got to do this one step at a time, like little baby steps. Okay. But I do love this eighth house in Scorpio. It really means that you're coming into like balance with something. Because if you get like a planet and then you're the uh, zodiac sign going with it, 
<clears throat> or the house and the zodiac sign it's very much a synchronistic energy so look out for kind of that scorpionic energy in your life and kind of where maybe you're pushing it away and things like that so we have the high priestess we have the seven of cups let's see what else we have we have the three of pentacles let's see three of pentacles and we have the eight of swords you guys are definitely distracting yourself with work so if you are doing this that's okay if that's something you feel you need to do then definitely do that but if it's something you feel like is negatively impacting you really look at and see what's going on with you there's a lot of intense energy going on especially with our emotions and things that we're realizing okay so i do feel like the eight of swords there's a part of you that feels a bit stressed out and that's okay really really work with that work with this energy and know that it's going to be a okay and we have judgment so you're definitely going to get the end result of this. You're going to find what feels good for you and what feels right for you. And then we have the Ace of Cups and we have the Page of Wands. So I definitely feel like here with the Ace of Cups, it's really about kind of opening up and letting yourself be open. We have the Queen of Pentacles here as well. So I feel like money is stable for you, but as I say, I do feel like it can be a distraction. So really working with that energy and understanding that, yes, it can be a distraction, but also if you need to, obviously a distraction is good. Sometimes we need a distraction. But sometimes it can be a negative thing. So really work with that and understand that if you need to work on some emotions, work on those and really kind of look at them and see what's kind of going on for you. Okay. And I do feel like you're really recognizing your power. You're really realizing what feels good for you and kind of what doesn't. And you're kind of seeing, okay, is there anything that I need to kind of look at and see? But I do feel like all of this is coming to judgment day here and happiness. That's what I'm feeling like. You're going to come into this happiness energy and you are definitely looking out to something. You're finding out a new path for you that you possibly haven't found out before, before you kind of went through this big gigantic transformation the Scorpio is obviously about transformation as well so it could be that you're going for a really big transformation that could be uncomfortable but it's all worth it like this Saturn energy he's the one who's kind of like no we need to go through this you know he's the one who's like no I know it's good for you <laughs> so it's like yeah I know it feels uncomfortable but it's all worth it okay so let's see what does group number four need to know and what is coming for them behind the scenes please okay I want this one here Let's see okay we have lunar eclipse change beautiful so obviously the moon goes through phases so i love those quotes where it's like be the moon like you don't have to be like love yourself when you're not entirely full like a full moon you know when you're not full and that's okay oh we have a solar eclipse as well so we have a lunar and a solar eclipse which is very intense so parts of you are really being lit up your emotional side your 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 actual self and also the intuitive side of you so i do feel like for you guys what's coming towards you is a massive revolution of your soul really really big and i feel like you're really allowing yourself to feel and if you're not i feel like you're in the future it's going to kind of come up anyway so it's kind of working with those emotions right now is going to help you the most yeah you guys are going for a really big transformation i was picking up on pluto as well actually so um pluto is more about the underworld that's actually ruled by scorpio so i do feel like massive amounts of transformation and the ninth house of faith is just having faith that everything's going to work out and not to run away from the problems as well but if you do need to take a break here and then that's okay so i really do feel like there's a massive revolution coming and i feel like things are going to start to be seen like you're going to start to realize things that you didn't never realized before about yourself about other people <clears throat> and about your life and and know that you're going through lots of different phases and every phase is different and that's okay. You don't have to be fully perfect to kind of manifest what you want. You just need to be aware of your kind of patterns and things like that and know that it's okay. And also you could be kind of connecting with spirit kind of more intensely, I feel. And I feel like the thing that's happening behind the scenes is your faith is changing as well. I feel like you're having more faith um, or it's kind of bringing you to have more faith in the universe and know that the universe and spirit guides have got your back, okay? So thank you so much for watching guys. If you like this reading, don't forget to uh, give it a big old thumbs up and a subscribe down below. And if you'd like to check out my private readings, all the information is down below. You can email me or you can message me on Instagram. And if you would like to check out my crystal shop, that is also down below. The website is down below. So thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.